We've got some NFL Saturday afternoon football and a chance to win $25,000. Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Jason Mattis with Winnie Bets. Thanks for hanging out with me on this episode. That's right, the NFL has given us a Saturday game in the afternoon, and it's between the Bills and the Broncos. And thanks to our friends over on the Fox Bet Super 6 app, we can win $25,000 if we can correctly answer six questions. That'll bring us home the jackpot. If nobody can do it, they'll give away a guaranteed $1,000 prize to the group people that can get the most right. We know this Bills team. You guys know I'm a Bills fan. If you're new to the channel, I am a Bills fan. We had the Bills just on Sunday night up against the Pittsburgh Steelers, where obviously we had to break down the Bills pretty much extensively as we you know, competed for $100,000 on the NBC Sports Predictor app. So had, had my nose left over from that game, had to modify them a little bit, because obviously on Fox Bet they ask a little bit of different questions, but we're ready to go. I'm excited. I predicted the Bills beat the Steelers. I actually caught a lot of flack from people on Twitter. People hitting me up, DMs and stuff, telling me how crazy I was to predict the Bills over the Steelers, but... You know, that, uh, I'm, wasn't, I'm not the kind of guy that then goes back after the fact and goes, what? What was that? I didn't, I didn't quite hear you, but I'm telling you, man, the Bills are, they, they, they good. They good. I, I think they're the biggest threat to the Chiefs. I'm, I'm, I'm excited to see how the rest of this season plays out. So let's go ahead and get on into it, guys, though. It's Bills versus the Broncos, $25,000 on the Fox Best Super 6 app. All right, question one is, what's going to be the total points scored in the first half? Well, the Bills are scoring 14.8 points in the first half. Well, the Broncos score 30 air. Uh, the Broncos score 8.2 points in the first half, which is 31st in the league. The Bills are allowing 9.1 points in the first half. That's first in the league, and the Broncos are allowing 13.4 points in the first half. If we take that Bills average, we take their score up against that Broncos allowed, that gives us 14.1 points. Do the same for the Broncos, that's 8.65 points. That's a total of 22.75. And so I'm going to go ahead and answer this one, 22 to 25 points. You guys know I've talked about how in previous games, the way I do this research is I, I pull my phone out, actually block all the answers, just get the questions, do all my research, and then fill out my answers, and then go look at the app and put my answers and with what the app provides, I actually had this halftime score at 17 to 16, so that's 23 points. So that's how I came to 22 to 25. Question two is, what's going to be the first TD of the third quarter? Well, the Bills are scoring 4.7 points in that third quarter. The Broncos are only scoring 4.8. The Bills are allowing 7.2, which is 30th in the league, and the Broncos are allowing 4.7 points in that third quarter. If we look at how the teams are doing damage this season, the Bills have 30 passing touchdowns against their 10 rushing touchdowns. The Broncos have 18 passing touchdowns against nine rushing touchdowns. So you can see the Bills are three to one for passing, and the Broncos are two to one to passing. I'm going to go ahead and answer this one. Bills passing touchdown. To me, obviously, the biggest threat here would be the running game, mainly with Josh Allen when they get in that red zone. But the Bills have shown plenty of times. I mean, you guys saw it on Monday Night Football there against the 49ers a couple weeks back. They threw to Cole Beasley in the red zone when they were, I think, on the three or four yard line. So the Bills have no problem throwing the ball near the goal line. So I'm going to go ahead and say Bills passing, give me that three to one edge. Question three is, what's going to be the player with the most scored points? Well, Tyler Bass has 8.7 points per game. Stephon Diggs has 2.3. Devin Singletary has 0.5 points per game. For the Broncos, Noah Fant has 1.2 points per game. And Melvin Gordon has 3.5 points per game. Or you can take the tie. If we look at a couple of these Bills players, Stephon Diggs, he only has five TDs on the season. So it's really hard to predict since that's five TDs in 13 games. I mean, could he get a touchdown? In this game, sure. Is it going to be the third quarter? I, I don't know. I just With the five TDs in 13 games, I just think that's hard to predict. For Devin Singletary, he's got one TD this season. So I don't know how the hell you predict Devin Singletary. He's only got one TD on the season. Meanwhile, for the Broncos, they've, they've allowed 17 rushing TDs, which is 27th worst in the league. So maybe that does lean that the Bills will rush the ball in the red zone. But if they rush the ball, they've shown that they either use Zach Moss or Josh Allen down in the red zone. So you really need Devin Singletary to pop a long run. Otherwise, I don't I don't see Devin Singletary getting a rushing touchdown against this Broncos defense as they'll go to Moss or Allen in that situation. Meanwhile, the Broncos have allowed 16 passing TDs, which is second best in the league. I'm going to go ahead and answer this one, Tyler Bass. Look, that Broncos defense does seem to be pretty good against the pass defense. Meanwhile, Tyler Bass has double-digit points in three of his last five games, and he has kicked multiple field goals in his last five games. So I like the Bills having to settle for a couple field goals, and then obviously I think they'll get touchdowns, so that'll give them a couple extra points. So go ahead and give me Tyler Bass. 
Question four is what's going to be the team with the most rushing yards and what's the amount? Well, the Bills rush for 103 yards per game. The Broncos are rushing for 117. Bills allow 120. The Broncos allow 131. I'm going to go ahead and say Bills, and I'm going to put it at 106 to 115 yards. I think the Bills will jump out early enough, and they'll have the Broncos passing, and that'll lend to the Bills rushing late. So if the game plan goes away, I think most of America thinks with the Bills winning this game and winning this game pretty easily. I think that's a pretty easy script to follow. So go ahead and give me Bills rushing at, uh, again, 106 to 115. Question five is what's going to be the team with the most receiving yards and what's going to be that amount? Well, the Bills are passing the ball 273 yards per game, which is third best in the league. Broncos come in at 212. The Bills allow 244 yards through the air per game. And the Broncos allow 221. I'm going to go ahead and say Bills on this one again. I'm going to say 261 to 270. The Bills have shown all season long they do not care what you do good on defense or you know whether you're better against the run or the pass they throw the ball they've shown it they've gone up against teams this season that are you know really good or or better against the pass than they are against the run so you think oh maybe they'll come out and run the ball more this game they don't do that i mean prime example is look at the patriots you know you can even look at the dolphins game they threw the ball all day long against those teams so you know, go ahead and give me that Bills passing attack that is obviously third best in the league. I was torn between taking one of these extremely tight windows that they give you or 300 and plus. But I just I want to give respect to that Broncos defense, at least from the passing perspective. They are good passing defense. And then if the day, if the Bills do jump out to a big lead, you know that will put the ball on the ground. So that's why I locked in on 261 to 270 yards there. And question six, as we know, is always the, what's the winner and what's going to be the win margin? Well, the Bills are currently favored by minus six points. I think this is if, – if the Bills show up, you know, if the right Bills team shows up, I just don't see how this game is close. I don't see how the Broncos even come close to winning this game or even keeping it close. The Broncos lost this game last year 20-3. to I'm expecting much of the same. I'm going to go ahead and say Bills win this game by 10 to 14 points. That's how I'm going to round up my chances to win $25,000 on the Fox Bet Super 6 app for some Saturday night or Saturday afternoon NFL action. Go ahead and like this video and share it with your friends. We can all win that $25,000 together. Otherwise, guys, I've got more videos out there. We've got the Packers playing the Panthers on Saturday night. So we got another chance to win $25,000 there. You guys know we have our normal Sunday contest on the NBC Sports Predictor app, and we've got the Fox Bet Super 6 app where you can win $100,000. Those videos will come out a little bit later in the week, so make sure you check back. Otherwise, guys, enjoy this game. I'll see you guys on the next contest. I'm Jason Mattis. Thanks for watching this episode of Winning Bets. I'm Jason Mattis. I'll see you again when we are celebrating the wins and making more winning bets. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe for more winning bets.